Okay, guys. Uh, let's start today's um, class. So I think my screen is visible for everyone. So. Today we are going to learn about the last topic of Python level two. Uh, so it's uh, tuples and sets. So it's a bit similar like uh, list, uh, lists. Uh, do anyone have any idea on this topic? Okay. Uh, if you don't have, let's start. So first we are going to learn about tuples, then sets, then the difference, comparison, then we are going to solve a question, an assignment. Um, so before going to this, um, can anyone do a quick recap of the last class? Anyone? Can I? Yeah, yeah. In the last class, we have learned about uh, Boolean arithmetics or and uses and about the gates we have learned. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Uh, Okay, I gave you access to record. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, Kruti, you were saying, okay, continue. Can you repeat once more? Uh, you're saying something, continue. You're repeating me. What happened? Uh, yeah, we have learned about gates or and uses and boolean. So, can you then uh, say uh, what are those examples of we learn different gates? And, uh, three different gates, which are and, or, and uh, not. Uh, where in and function, uh, both the condition has to be satisfied. Um, in the R function, either one condition or the other condition has to be satisfied. And um, the not uh, is pretty confusing, but uh, where the false will become true and true will become false. Yeah, I think you understood. Okay. Um, so... Tuples and sets are the important data types in Python used for storing collection of items. Uh, this means like it's just like a list. So it's like a list, but there are some differences. So before going to tuples and sets, let's uh, give a quick recap on uh, what is list. Okay, before I do, it's okay. Um, what is list? Anyone? Knuckle? I think knuckle is not there. Okay. Uh, alpha? List is where, uh, where it stores some data. Yeah, this is uh, a store a multiple values. So this is a, in a it's a single variable where you store different values. Um, so we call list uh, tuples and sets as a collection means it's collection. Collection in Python means uh, storing multiple values in a single variable. Um, so let me first create a list. 
So let, let's see this fruits. Uh, fruits is equal to, you need to put a square bracket. Then we'll put an item like apple. Well, I do. This. So this is how the list uh, will be. So in list, uh, we, we store different items. Uh, so we can print all together. So let it run. So then there's some internet issues. Let me come back. So uh, in that Python coding after banana, you need to give one more. Uh, Okay. Right. It may run successfully. Uh, so this is how uh, a list will be. So to print a list, we we'll just print as fruits. So it's just like a printing a variable, but we are printing a different multiple values. So it's tuple is a bit similar to that. So here a list is um, ordered. You can't change its order. The uh, like apple is apple itself. It's a first item in a list. Then banana is the second one, and pineapple is the third list. It's like ordered. It's not like pineapple will come first or banana will come third. Everything is in order. And we can even change the values. We can add, remove, and even change. Uh, like append, remove, and even change. Uh, I think you guys know these topics. If you have any doubts on list, uh, clear Nagatsal. So it will be easy for two full senses. I think Tanishka got it. You can use Zoom Reacts. Yeah. I think everyone. So here, tuple is an immutable. So uh, you can't change the values here. And it's in order sequence like list itself. So you will get to know about this. Uh, so immutable means you can not add or remove or alter any elements. You can just create a list, then you can get number of items in that, etc. So, so key features are indexing, slicing, and length. Um, Indexing means the first item starts from the first item uh, starts from zero. Yeah, zero. So uh, in list, uh, we will uh, the first item banana, apple will be zero, the banana will be one, and pineapple will be two. So that zero. So it must print apple. So in the same way, the tuple will work. The only difference is you will just use the round brackets instead of the square brackets, the circle type brackets. <laughs> now, the fruits is a tuple. It's not a list. If you put and a square bracket, it becomes a list. But when you put uh, word, um, 
round bracket, it becomes a tuple. So, um, so here also we'll get indexing like fruits. You will also get an apple and you can even print fruits. So it will print just same, but you can't add or remove any item. Um, next is slicing. Again, you can even extract parts from this, like we extracted. So the zero is to two means it will it will print a fast two elements, and so it's just similar like a list, but you can't add or remove. I think this is clear for everyone. I saw sort of no. Okay. So, so can you ask others if they have understood? If yes, then ask them to explain. Uh, yeah, let me complete uh, the next thing and then So next is len function. Len functions, uh, do anyone know what is len function? Length of the item. Uh, length of the list. So it should. Uh, so length means how many items are there. So three items are there. So this even works in uh, tuples. So this is what we covered: indexing, slicing, and length. So. Pranava, can you explain once more? For oh, which one? Uh, the whole tuple thing. Yeah, I didn't understood slicing. Oh, slicing, slicing. Uh, so, one second, let me remove this. So, uh, I think you know how to get uh, each item from the list. Or a tuple. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me how? Print fruits. You need to type. You need to type an index of that. Like. You need to put a square brackets. Then you need to type an item of uh, the index of an item. I think you want to get a pineapple. So the index of pineapple is two. So you'll get a each item two. Uh, the sec uh, you get the item which has index two. So this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So you got pineapple. So you want to get first two things. So you want to get banana and apple means you need to get uh, first two things so that you put zero and the ratio thing. So you'll get banana, apple and a banana. So you'll get a first two things. So if I want to put three here. So I get all the three from zero to three. If I put one, and it is first one, banana and pineapple. Did you get this? Yes, yeah, I got it. The first item one, you put one itself, but three here. You just do minus one so that you get that index thing. So can you guess what will it print? Anyone? Banana, I guess. Yeah. Banana and pineapple. No, it's just banana. Do you know why? No. 
because here the first item will be there. So we have given one means the first item means the index item. The first index is this is zero and this is one. So it will print banana. So for the second means one is two means uh, you just do minus one to that. So one is two one means the first item. That's it. From one to one. What is one to one? It's just one. So it will print the item in the index one. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is slicing length and indexing. Uh, so um, concatenation means, uh, do I even know what is concatenation by the official dictionary meaning? Yeah. Nathan. Uh, I had a doubt. Can you go to the previous page? I mean, the uh, working page of Collab. Okay. There, uh, you told that 1 is to 2, I simply mean 2 minus 1. When uh, we'll get the index of, uh, we'll get the item of index 1. So, what does it uh, print when we give 1 is to 1? Then one minus one will be zero. Then will it print? Uh, okay, let us see the first item there. So it won't print actually. So for this item, what do you need to do? You need to do minus one. So what is one to zero? It's on text. Actually, it doesn't work in the manner which I said. So, actually, it works like to. Actually, uh, if you want to get a new thing, oh, well, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, let me take what this one, this example. So, here it will print. Um, the first uh, thing you have now. Uh, you have raised, okay. <laughs> I got you. So the first item, zero, will be the apple. So here, zero to one means the first item from zero, it will be printed. So if you put minus one, So it will print banana. Did you get that? Mm, yes. Did you really get that? Uh, zero minus one, zero is to minus one, then it will print uh, the one uh, ahead of it. Yeah, it's not like that. Uh, but for the initial stage, you understand that. 1 is to 1 means you just put, if you put 2 here, it will print the item from 0 uh, to 2 means you get one item less. So we even have uh, like, uh, not this one, this thing. Actually, this thing is not there in the PPT, I think. Okay. So this thing prints every, every uh, second element means this is the first one and this second one. So it skips the middle one. You no need to worry about this. It came to my mind just like, okay. Uh, so, um, concatenation, <laughs> it's really hard to pronounce. Uh, concatenation, concatenation, okay. Okay, so this means joining two triples. So you have first list and a second list. Oh, so not a list, a tuple. So your first tuple and second tuple. You need to just add that. So for that, you will create a first a tuple, a second tuple. Then you will create another variable for that. Tuple one plus tuple two is equal to results. So let us create a tuple here. Uh, okay. What should be the tuple? Uh, so everyone, 
uh, first, uh, Nitin will give the tuple name. Um, shall we go with the numbers itself? Okay, numbers, okay. The name, name. You can just give uh, the tuple one. <laughs> Pupil one is equal to curved brackets. Okay, now uh, Arufa will give an item for that. Everyone pass with the running order. Two, four, and six. Two, four. Okay, let's try. Okay. Um, Kruti, you give another item. Five, three, one. Okay, five, it's enough. Okay. Uh, so, people, okay, So, Ashit and uh, Ashit, give me an item for that. Okay, can you repeat? What? Three. Uh, no, your voice is breaking a lot. Can you repeat? Uh, which item? Give me an item. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, take yourself. Give me an item. That can be the item. <laughs> okay. No, let's use names in that sense. Okay. No, no. And next, Anishka. Uh, you can write three. Okay. So, this is what uh, two tuples are created. So, next, mm, let me create a variable. Mm. So uh, the syntax is first you create, then you put the first variable plus second tuple, then you print the variable which you have added. Pranava, there is a mistake. There are two commas. Let us go for the Okay. So what it did is first. It took this and it added this tuple 2 to the tuple 1. So then together it printed x. So it printed everything. I think this is clear for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so next is reputation. Uh, so, what uh, repetition means, uh, repeating the same uh, tuple as many times you want. So, let me take. So, for a syntax, is, first you need to create a variable and you need to multiply that. That's it. So, let the x. Okay, not x. Z is equal to. One into two. So now it's just gonna do like two four six five two four six five. It's just gonna repeat the items two times. Okay. So here it is added. So let me remove this. Uh Since the print statements, it's still printing x as supposed to print z. Uh, the second line, is it necessary? <laughs> okay, I forgot to print the x, z. Okay. 
So what it did is uh, just did the same thing two times. Just like repeating. If I put 100, means it will print 100 times. Uh, it went like 4, 2, 6, 5, 4, 2, 6, 5, 4, 2, 6, 5, until the last item 4, 2, 6, 5. So it is how the tuple functions are there. So in conclusion, you can say it's ordered. Uh, we can't add or remove anything. It's immutable. But we can get the land function. Uh, and uh, we can repeat and uh, concatenation. Uh, it's very hard to pronounce. Okay. Ah, concatenation. Okay. Whatever it means. <laughs> Tanushka, you repeat uh, once again. I have sent in the chat box. Yeah, even though it's a bit hard. Uh, concatenation. Concaten concatenation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, concatenation means uh, joining two things. Uh, then repetition. Then slicing. Uh, indentation. Indexing. And length function. Now, the next thing is sets. So, uh, just a sec. Uh, Prava, sorry to interrupt. Just a second. Um, can you ask anyone to uh, tell the summary of the tuple topic? Uh, okay. Uh, tuple, can anyone repeat or summarize? Uh, don't show those slides. Just ask them to do a short you know, recap of the previous topic. Okay, uh, so guys, uh, what is tuple? Guys, fast, we are running out of time. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Tuple is just like a list, but we use curved brackets and it's immutable where uh, we learned uh, it has a uh, properties of indexing. Slicing and uh, length function. And uh, one more thing, concaten what is that? Uh, con concatenation. Con concatenation. Concatenation, where we add uh, two tuples and repetition, where we repeat a uh, tuple. Uh, Tanishka, you put that message for everyone in the group. Okay. Um, guys, I think everyone got to know about the tube uh, tuple. Guys, say something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Kruti told Dia, yeah, can you explain concatenation and repetition? Yeah, in concatenation, uh, is the pronunciation correct? Yeah, in concatenation, uh, we'll uh, use some numbers and uh, we'll print that, like we'll uh, use the tuples and uh, we'll give some variable to that and we'll use print. And in repetition, uh, we'll give how many times we need to print that variables, uh, not the variables tuples, so that it will be printed. So, um, can anyone uh, uh, assist uh, Ruthi for explaining concatenation? Arufa? Yeah, so concatenation, it joins two tuples. Yeah, it joins two tuples. Uh, did you get Ruthi? So I think everyone are understood this topic. So next move, let's move on to this. Uh, sorry, sets. So sets is similar for triple, tuple, and list, but it's unordered. Um, uh, and no duplicate elements are allowed. So in list and tuple, we can add like four again three and again three and again four it's not possible in the set 
So we'll get to know about that. So, so the main feature is it's unordered. So if it is not, it is unordered means, can anyone guess some function is not there? Can anyone guess which function? Which feature? Indexing. Yeah, indexing. Absolutely. So indexing means it should be in order right now. Like uh, fastest, uh, this people in your attendance, the first member will be. So here, the first member will be Ashut, uh, then Arufa, then ABCD of the HA, okay, then Kruti, then Nitin, then Tanishka, like that. It, it's in order, but in this, it's not like that. So whenever it will jumble, then it don't have any index. So we can't get an index there. So it doesn't have any index and no duplicates. Uh, so can anyone guess uh, uh, what, how to create a set? Yeah, guys, we need to use a bracket. Uh, Tanishka. Uh, can you guys see the breakout rooms option? Yes. Yes. Are you able to leave the this breakout room and join other breakout rooms? The option is visible, right? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. Uh, take out room just for a few minutes. Uh, is that fine? Because someone needs help in the main session, so I'll join the breakout room again, okay. Um, guys, uh, think quickly. <sighs> guys, you need to have a bracket. The square bracket is list. The double is circle. And for list, what brackets are left in a keyboard? Arufa, you unmuted yourself. Can you repeat it? What bracket should I put for this? The set. For the set, curly brackets. Slur brackets. Yeah, curly brackets. So you just change it to curly brackets, then it becomes a set. So inside, what was what was the features? No indexing. So it's not in order. So let me print. Right. So it's like two, four, five, six. It's not like that. Let me print it again. It will. Uh, it shouldn't be like this. So it's not there in order. So it will keep on repeating. This will not be there in any order. So by this is X. Then there is no duplicates also. The six is repeated two times here. So then it will just print single six. If I even put a four, it will just print two, four, five, six, how about numbers like that. So here, the set is not in any order and no duplicates can be added. Even if another duplicate is there, it will just ignore. Did you guys get to know about the set? So the key feature is uh, it's unordered and no duplicates. I think Kriti has a doubt.
i told sure. you i understood okay um so next is this set is actually sets are actually you can add remove so union and intersection so let's start with add so instead of append we'll use just add here it's quite easy now like uh, uh, set one dot add then just put a random number so it's just like set dot instead of we are doing like list dot append and brackets open add a number brackets close it's just like set and instead of append we'll just use you will just use add here so nothing special but this thing will not be like in order it will be random so and you can even remove like let me remove Remove. Let me remove number two. So we we'll remove two and add forty-five to that. So, guys, did you understand what is add and remove and set? Yeah. Uh, uh, then uh, union. So un uh, union means it's just like combining two sets. And it should be all unique elements. If a duplicate thing is there, then it will just ignore. So let me um, make a set to let set to be what can be a set to for forty. Okay. Six. Four. Okay. So for this, it's just like add a new variable. Like let me take x is equal to set one dot union and inside that set two. So let me explain. So now this is a union one, and this is the set one, and this is com combination of set one and set two. So two is there, sixty six is there, four is there, but we have repeated four here, here, and here. So instead, there are three repetition. Even though uh, hello guys. Uh, we so, can hear you, you can continue. I think my internet was not stable. Okay. Um, so in set, the first thing the the in, uh, the syntax is you create a variable, then the set one and you just add union here. It's a function. So you open a bracket. Then uh, inside the bracket, you need to add with a set. You need to add to the set one. So we need to add set two to set one. So the set one dot union in the bracket set two. So that here I have printed. So two is there and 66 is there, but four is three times. Four is repeated three times, but it just ignored and printed just four, one, and five also, five, two times it's there. Six, it is two times. Seven, 
it's one time okay 40 so here even though the numbers are repeated the items are repeated it will do it it won't print because the feature is no no duplicates so set as like original thing uh, i think you understood this do anyone have doubt and uh, add remove and the union Um, can you explain the union once again? Okay. Uh, so in union, uh, you learn uh, tuples adding tuples, uh, combining tuples. So what is it? Con, concatenation. Huh? Concat. Concatenation. Concatenation. Yeah, okay. Uh, so. That thing, it's just similar to this thing, but here you are using a union function. So okay. just uh, so we're adding the first set to the second set. Mm. Um, uh, we are adding, we are combining those things. They're combining the elements. Okay. Then the duplicate ones are removed. Okay. okay, okay, cool. So the duplicate ones are removed and we'll print. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so no one has doubt in this, I think. If you have doubt, please ask me. Dorufa, have any doubt? No. Then, okay, why did it come? So, our next is intersection. So, intersection means um, you're taking a, uh, a common item from the both the list and you're just going to print that. Uh, Think that uh, I'm joined to this meeting two times in a two different accounts. So let Tanushka Rufa Nitin Rudwal team, uh, I, Kruti and Ashit, uh, will be in another team. So even I join to the Tanushka team, Tanushka set again. Uh, so there is no reputation and uh, there are no common things in both set. If I join in both the set, then I will be printed and the only person who is going to there in the output. Uh, it is uh, just similar like finding the common elements between two sets. I think you guys get that. So we will see an example for that. So let z is equal to set one and dot enter section and open bracket and just put set two. So again, I'm going to print z. So here we're just finding a common item. So four, five, six are common here. So four is even here and in the set one, four is there, and even four is repeated in the set two. And five is repeated in the set one, and it's repeated in set two also, so it is printed here. So six is also printed. So if the same item is printed, uh, it's there in the set itself. Uh, it's like, I am there joined to this, uh, Team, uh, the, I, I was there in the team too. So if I join to the same team, I won't be printed. Uh, think uh, um, the, there are three other sets, like think of sets as uh, the other, uh, the Gotham's team. So I'm there. If I'm there in Gotham team and even this 
my team so i will print it if i'm there in my team and again i joined another account in the even my team itself so i want to print it like here four is again repeated two times it is set to one so it won't be printed because only one time no duplicates must be there but we are still finding common i think you guys understood this uh pranava what if there are um yeah, same what if there are duplicates in both the sets like four, four twice in set 1 and four twice in set 2 uh then it will just be uh, let's check for that uh it it will be four itself because in here it will consider the first set and it will remove the duplicate and here also it will consider the second set and it will remove the duplicate one so then if duplicates are removed then four and four will be remained in both things so it will just take four so like you are pairing two things but it's like yeah, the same pair shouldn't be there it shouldn't be repeated again Okay, Tanishka understood. I I guess. So, one second, guys. So, let's okay, come. After to... three more minutes, we have to return to the main session. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, put a comparison here. So, in a set, uh, we got to know there's uh, we can add, we can remove, we can uh, combine. and we can even find the common so the first thing is into uh, tuple those are ordered but set is unordered mutability uh, tuple is immutable but set is mutable mutable is adding and removing duplicates are allowed into tuple just like list but in set it's not allowed so usage tuple is for fixed data and mixed data But here it's for unique collections. Like a pan number can't be there. A, a same pan number can't be there for two people. And but in the in the fixed data, it can in the tuple, the data can be repeated. Uh, so, um, question. Uh, write up a Python program that creates tuple and set list. Ensure the set contains unique values. Ah, uh, so here they have created a tuple and a set. Ah, uh, Pranava, just a second. Can you ah uh, explain the difference between set method and set operation? Ah, uh, okay. This thing. so set operation uh, this idea is like combining two things finding common uh, these are the things uh, which uh, we learned like the uh, finding common and combining these are the set operations but set methods are the tools uh, and it's the first thing is in maths the operation methods are it's basically used in computer programs uh, these can uh, that can do these things like math operations in the programming itself uh, so uh, here uh, we can even convert an element so let me make this very quick so let x b uh just uh what you can say uh just a list so 1 2 3 2 3 so here i can you can see here what they have done is they have created a tuple and a set using this things so to do that uh, 
Yes, Tanushka. So first you need to create a variable like tuple one. And then you add like tuple and inside the brackets you just put X. So now we are, what you can say, now we are considering or telling the computer that take this X, a list as a tuple and set So it's not like considering an item, but you created a tuple list, but using this X, you have created a tuple using this X. So um, let me print and you guys get to know. So it created a tuple using this X. For that, you just need to syntax is create a variable is equal to tuple, just tuple, nothing. Tuple inside and next to the brackets, inside that you put the element name. So first I use tuple to create a tuple use, using X and set, uh, I create set using X and I printed and only uh, two was ignored because two times two is there. So here yeah, you can make out the difference. And if I even print X, it will be again a list. We're not actually changing the X, but we're just gonna uh, make a tuple or a set using the X. Okay. So assignment, uh, you can take a screenshot uh, or I will, get, I will post it in classroom. And uh, guys, um, you, ha you have not um, what? submitted your assignments. Guys, you haven't submitted your assignments, many of you. Yeah. Uh, so, more time. I just submitted my Okay. Uh, I, I gave you a time extension for the whole thing. Um, Nitin Arufa didn't submit. If you have doubt, you do that. And I tried, I told you to try the question thing and send it to me or in the WhatsApp group. The, Python, region Python to Pranava. You can uh, send the question. You try and send the question, not the assignment in the region uh, uh, Python to Pranava group. Uh, you do that. And um, thank you for the whole uh, Python level two. You have cooperated well. Mm. Um, thank you and can now leave the enjoy the main session. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like our team members and we and I we are like already close friends even after even after the course. So yeah we'll just we'll just like friends and we discuss the topics all together. It was really interactive. Wow, that's so good. Then Pranava What's happening? Uh, do you know what Telangana students are learning? Uh, now? Is it B video? No, it's not. Um, who's that? Uh, Leo? Leo, are you here? Yeah. Uh, Leo, Jason. Okay. <laughs> Leo, Jason, are you here? Yes, sister. Can you tell Prava what you are learning now? Prava, brother. 
Can't understand, sister. Ah, uh, uh, Pranava, he don't know what you guys are learning now. So tell him, introduce yourself and tell him what you are learning now. Hello, uh, Leo. I'm Pranav. I'm from Price School, Bogadi, Hello, brother. Karnataka. So we have just ended the Python level two. And uh, it was good. And what you are learning? And Myself, B. Leo Jason, brother. I'm from Jordan High School already. We are learning Google site, website. Yeah, you are learning Google sites. Yeah, hope that I can see your website in coming days. Okay, brother. Thank you. Okay. Welcome, brother. Then, so, they are still learning to create their Google website, but... They are so active and they have sent their websites already. So when they learn completely, then they will make uh, very good PPTs. So Vaika is their instructor. So I hope they'll make very good PPTs, which is very good than Vaika's website. Will you do that? Yes, sister. yes, yes. Yes, we'll try our level best. Yes. Okay. Yes, so, mm, yes. yes then, uh, Leo from Karnataka. Leo? Yeah. So, how was today's class? Well, today's, uh, today's class was good. Um, we learned about tuples and sets. Even though I was not very active, but I still answered a question. And except that, I guess I mistook myself for Billy or Justin in this conversation. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no problem. So, yeah. So, this was the last class for Python course level two. And then Telangana students, they already started learning websites. They'll continue. Uh, after that, they can join other courses. So we'll inform you about it soon. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sister. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.